Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening, guys. Hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you guys? Good evening. Good evening, Morris. Okay. Good evening. I'm okay. I'm okay. You know, here is going to rain, I think. Okay, just in case. All right. I'm, I'm telling you guys that wow. it seems, yeah, it is going to rain. It's really windy. Okay. Well, guys, and what about your, your day? How was it? Good, so, so, tiring, with a lot of things to do, busy. Busy, very busy. Very busy, I very imagine. Busy. And today is good Monday, job. right? Yeah. Well, not today's Tuesday. Yes, guys. All right. So let's start with our class. So welcome once again. We are going to start with our class number 17. Yeah, we are almost done with this module, but we are going to start with the today's agenda, right? With the agenda for today, we have the warm up. Then we are going to move to grammar. And today we are going to finish with the book. All right. So um, basically, we are going to talk about emergency evacuation plan. We are going to make a review on the topic that we covered yesterday, which was would rather and would prefer to. And we also have um, some um, explanation about the simple past, some exercises at the end of the class, okay? Then we have listening quizzes. We also have grammar quizzes and we have the speaking time, of course, right? So guys, we are going to start with the warm up, and as a warm up, we have a tongue twister today. Okay, so it goes like this: Peter Piper peck. Okay, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? So Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? Yeah? Okay, so practice it. I'll give you 10 seconds for you to practice it. Practice it, you alone, and then one by one, okay? I would like to hear all of you. Yes, I see that, oh, well, it is raining in some in some places, guys. Teacher, where are you are? I'm in San Salvador. In San Salvador, okay. Yes, and I'm in Mexican San Salvador. Mexicano city? No, um, next. It's not raining right it's now. Not, it's not, but mm. it is really windy. Okay. Yes. I think that it's going to rain, but I'm not sure if it is going to be that hard, right? But, okay. Yeah, I see some cameras on. Good evening, Aleida. How are you? How do you feel today? I am not good at all because I am still bad from my throat and I have cough. And if I cannot speak a, a lot because if I speak a lot, I start to cough, cough you know? Yes, cough, yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. right. Got it. Don't worry. Thank you, all right, for being here then, Aleida. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. So let's see. Uh, Maris, can you please say the tongue twister? Okay. Start. Uh, please. Uh, Peter, Peter, picket a peck of pickled pepper. How mm -hmm. many pickled pepper did Peter, Peter, pick? Okay. Um, pronunciation, Maris, okay? What? Peter, what? Piper. Peter. Piper. Picked. Pick, uh, a peck pick, of pickled pecks. peppers. Uh -huh, okay. Yes, a peck of okay. pickled peppers. Thank you. Abigail? Mm. Peter, Peter picked a peck of pickled peppers. How many pickles Peter did Peter, Peter pick? Okay, again, right? Peter Piper. Piper. Picked. Ah, okay. Pick. Okay. A peck of pickled peppers. A peck 
of pick up paper. Peppers. Peppers. No, pe pe peppers. Peppers. Peppers, like that. Have peppers. Yes. Thank you, Abigail. Thank you. Um, good evening, Wendy. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Tony? Okay. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? Yes, very good. Yes, thank you. Roberto Esau? Yes, uh, Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? Uh -huh, okay, uh, okay, a pack of pickled peppers. Yes, thank you. Yes. Um, good evening, Carlos Omar. Can you please say the tongue twister? Yes, it's raining. I think that he is having some issues with the internet. Yes. Emerson? Are you there? No. Okay. Um, Tatiana Yvonne? No. Okay, let me see. Wendy? Yes, Wendy, can you please say the tone twister? Yes, teacher. Okay. Peter Piper picked a uh, pick of picket paper. How mm -hmm. many picket paper did Peter Piper pick? Okay, Wendy, repeat after me. Peter Piper, uh, Peter Piper picked, picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled pepper. How many pickled peppers? How many pickled pepper did Peter Piper pick? Did Peter Piper pick? Piper pick. Piper pick. Thank you. Very good. All right, guys. So now, thank you, Wendy. Let's move and let's start with the following question, okay? What is an emergency evacuation plan, guys? What is it and why is it important? Yeah. So let's see. Uh, Roberto Esau, help us reading the definition that we have right there. Okay. In simple terms, an energy evacuation plan is a clear, well-rehearsed plan of what you and your employees will do in the case of an emergency. Emergency. Yes. It usually details the best uh, escape routes, meeting places to heal to, mm -hmm. and anything else of importance uh, that could help you escape a dangerous situation safely safely very good thank you guys um basically an evacuation plan is going to be a well rehearsed plan what is the meaning of well rehearsed being ensayado yes okay Vladimir. well you repeat again please yes well rehearsed being ensayado so rehearsed, in this case, it is in, in past, right? But rehearse without the letter D means ensayar. Rehearse. Well, uh, bien ensayado. Okay. Bien ensayado. Well rehearsed. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, yes, well rehearsed. It is a well rehearsed plan of what you and your employees will do in the case of an emergency. Yeah. And it usually details the best escape routes, meeting places to head to, right? To go to, yeah, to go to, and anything else of, import, of importance that could help you escape a dangerous situation safely, right? So this one is, well, of course, that is the, the most important information of the emergency evacuation plan. 
So now, according to the book, right now we are going to read the following excerpt about a fire escape plan, a fire escape plan. I need some volunteers, okay, to help me read in all of this. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Maurice, can you please help us read in the first paragraph? Then okay. Tony, help us from immediately till escape route. Okay. And I need another volunteer. Me. Thank you. From designate till year, all of this. Okay, go Maurice. Okay. Practicing escaping from every room in the building. Practice escape plan every month. The best plan have to wait to get up of each room. Mm -hmm. If the primary way is blocked by fire mm -hmm. or smoke, you will need a second way up, like a window onto a adjacent roof. Yes. Also, practice filling your way up of the building in the dark or week. Your eye closed. Oh, eyes closed. Eye, eyes closed. Yes. Immediately leave the place. When a fire occurs, do not waste any time saving goods. Mm -hmm. Take the safest exit road. But if you must escape through smoke, remember to crawl low under the smoke and keep your mouth covered. Yes. The smoke contains toxic gases which can disorient you or worse, overcome you. Mm -hmm. Never open doors that are hot to the torch. Mm -hmm. When you come to a close, close door, use mm -hmm. the back of your hand to fill the top of the door. The door now and the crack between the door and door flame to make sure that fire is not on the other side. Mm -hmm. It is still hot. Use your secondary escape route. Thank you. Designate a meeting place outside and take attendance. Designate a meeting location away from the Bullying, for example, meet under a specific tree or at the end of driveway or from sidewalk to make sure everyone has gotten out safely and no one will be hurt looking for someone who is read already safe. Mm -hmm. Once out, stay out. Remember to escape first, then notify the fire department. Never go back into a burning bullying for any reason. If someone is mixing, tell the fire Fighters, I don't know. Fire <laughs> they fire. are mm -hmm. fighters. They are equipped to perform requests mm -hmm. safely. Finally, having work working a smoke alarm in state on every level of the. Will, building building drama dramatically mm -hmm. increases your change changes of survival okay. survival survival a smoke alarm but the but batteries mm -hmm. need to be texted every month and change with new ones at least once a year. 
Okay, thank you. All right, guys. First of all, let's focus on pronunciation, okay? So the first thing, remember this one is going to be primary. If the primary, primary, if the primary way is blocked, blocked, yeah, E D ending sounds, okay? Then attendance, attendance, yeah? How do you say edificio? Building, building building notify 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 the fire department 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 yeah burning burning tell the firefighters tell the firefighters they are equipped equipped E the ending sounds, okay? Rescues, rescues. This one is chances, chances. Survival, installed, with the installed, installed. E the, e the ending okay. sounds, installed. And this one, dramatically, dramatically, clearly. Yeah, remember that every single word in the English language that ends in Kali, we remove the letter A and we say dramatically, specifically. Yeah, dramatically, specifically. That is a rule for pronunciation. Don't worry, Emerson, it's okay. All right, so in this case, um, guys, uh, this uh, short article is very important because it's about a fire escape plan. Now, it says that whenever a fire occurs, do not waste time, right? Saving goods, of course, right? When that happens, you don't need to go ahead and look for your cell phone or your computer, right? No, you need to escape. Yes, and it says, take the safest exit route but if you must escape through a smoke remember to crawl low what is the mean of crawl that means gatear yeah it means gatear mm -hmm. bajo yeah under the smoke and keep your mouth covered oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, um, in this case, guys, let me ask you something, okay, before continuing. Okay. Um, do you have any type of evacuation plan at work? Yes. In, uh, at my work, yes, have a sign of uh, evacuation. Okay. They and, have land. Okay. And have you rehearsed that evacuation plan? Have you rehearsed it? What is the meaning of rehearsed? Ensayado, right? So have you rehearsed it? The yes. plan. In, in my case, in my case, eh, 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 una vez al mes, once. Once in a month? Once in a month, yes. Oh, okay. So you make the drill, right? The drill is the el simulacro, the drill. Okay, very good. Excellent. And what about the other ones? Do you have an emergency evacuation plan? Plan at your company, guys. Uh -huh. Yes or no? Yes, we have yes, in, in our company, can. but we don't make a, a drill. A drill, yes, because drill. we always are out of the office, out of the, of the, mm. of the building. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. drill. Yeah. Really, it's like a, uh, no ejercitar, sino que ensayo. Mm -hmm. 
Sería como eh, 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 ensayar es rehearse, como eso, pero el drill sí, es el simulacro. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Así simulacro. Yeah. But um, I, I hear um, another synonym. synonym. Like a simulation, probably? No? Mm, no. Um, no. No? No, 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 es a simulation. It's a. Let me remember. Yes. Um, sim, no, sim, simulacro no se traduce sin simulacro, no. No. Tiene no. traducción. Solo sería drill, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Drill. Uh -huh. Good, Good evening. evening. I am driving. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, got it. Okay. Yes. Okay, it's drill. a drill. And, and, and I, I don't remember if I hear another another name or or or, or synonym. But okay, drill. I got yeah. it. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. So now let's move, okay? And let's uh, work on this. Let's underline the best recommendation in each group about what to do in the event of a fire, okay? Two of them are not right. So that means that we need to choose only one, okay? So what do you think for number one? When fire occurs, uh -huh, what should we do? Leave the place. We should leave the place. Very good. Okay. What about number two? When you come to a closed door. Careful. Careful. Look another Fill. door. Okay. Carefully fill the door knob and the cracks of the door for hotness. That one? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, very yes. good. And number three, designate a meeting place. Away from the building. Away from the building, of course, right? Away. <laughs> Before trying to escape. Escape the window. Hesitation. Hesitation. Yes, escape first without hesitation. Sin duda, right? Escape first without hesitation. Yes. Uh, number five, fire alarms. Install them on the top and ground level. Install them on the top and ground levels? No. Fire alarms? No, no. Test them every year. Yes. Yeah. Test yeah. them yeah, 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 every yeah. year. Perfect. Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent. So you know a lot about that. Okay. Drill. Um, no, in this case, I mean, drill means simulacro. But I have a drill to make... Um, Improvements in my home, uh, but yes. maybe like a noun or like a, in this case, drill is a noun, is a adverb, is what is it? The drill? It's a noun. It's a noun. Yes. I mean, in this case, in the type of context, remember, Tony, that we have many words in the English language that can be used in different type of context, right? So drill is one of them, yeah? The same as water, for example, that water is a verb, right? But it's also a noun. So water means agua and water means also regar, but it depends on the context. Uh -huh. So drill can mean taladro and can also mean simulac, but it depends on the context, yes. Uh -huh. So now, guys, do you have any other doubt? Any other question? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. So now let's move and let's just make the grammar topic review. 
So yesterday, some of you were in the class and some of you were not here, okay? But uh, because of the internet connection, some of you had some doubts about this topic that we covered yesterday. And okay, so who can explain to us would rather, okay? From the ones that uh, were here and that did understand would rather. When do we use would rather? Mm -hmm. When do we use it? Yeah, would rather. When, when making a choice among different options. Excellent, very good. When making a choice. And remember that we need to follow this structure, right? So with would rather, we need to add the subject, then would rather, then verb in base form and the complement. So we have, I would rather do my homework at noon. If we say, I would rather to do my homework at noon, that would be incorrect. Why? Because that is not the correct structure. We don't have to here. Okay. So we have, I would rather do my homework at noon. She would rather stay at home. We would rather play basketball. And we also have the negative. I would rather not do my homework at noon. She would rather not stay at home. We would rather not play basketball. And we also have questions. Would you rather do your homework at noon? Would she rather stay at home? Would we rather play basketball? Yeah, so ra rather guys is preferiría. Yeah, that is the meaning. So what I need to do right now is I need to create one positive sentence, one negative sentence and one question with this structure. I'll give you three minutes, okay? One positive sentence, one negative sentence, and one question. Create it and send it to the uh, chat here in Zoom. Yeah? Here in Zoom, please. Okay, let me know if you have questions, okay? So one positive sentence, one negative sentence, and one question. I would rather eat pizza. Mm -hmm. You need to make a choice, Jonathan. You would rather eat pizza or in this case, hamburger. Uh, would, uh... mm -hmm. Maris, is that a question or is that a sentence? Uh, no sense. I me factory. I. Uh -huh. I. Correct. I would rather finish my activities at work. Yes, Carlos Omar. Yes. Very good. Emerson, I would rather send. 
an email to Okay, let me see Emerson. I would rather send the email. Send the email to the purchasing manager. Okay, Emerson, I reply back to your to your sentence, Emerson. Um um, I would rather not do exercise at night. Yes, I would rather buy something more expensive. Yes, Maurice. I would rather play basketball this Saturday. Mm, this Saturday, he, he wouldn't rather eat tacos at dinner, Jose. Would they rather live in downtown? Okay, I would rather work from home. I would rather not work during the weekends. Um, would she rather go to the theater? Um, okay. Would you rather play video games with me? Okay. I would rather go to the beach. I would rather not eat pizza. Would you rather go by car? Yes. Very good, Paolo. I would rather not. I would rather not change my nationality. Mm. The spelling, Carlos. The spelling, Maria would rather not come on Sunday. Perfect. I would rather visit a mountain. Roberto, the spelling of mountain. My sister would rather not play football. Football, the spelling, Roberto, double O. Would you rather be in a cold or warm weather? Okay. Would I rather work in my home? The question mark, Maurice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I would rather drink a cola champagne with my lunch. She would rather not drink a soda right now. We would rather eat a pepperoni pizza together. Yes. Would, would uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Would, would, um, okay, Emerson. Would rather Jose, um, the structure, Emerson. Would Jose rather go to the cinema with Maria? Would we rather planting? Mm. Would, would we rather planting or would we rather plant? Carlos Omar, look at the structure. Verb okay. in the form. Mm -hmm. Send Sembrar is plantar. Plant. 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 Okay. Yeah. Plant. Okay. <laughs> okay guys let's see all right so now let's move and respond okay respond to the given situations using would rather okay um we have the example would you like to go to the park or the museum I would rather go to the park. Tony, do you want to have Italian or Chinese food for dinner? Um, I would rather go to the Chinese food for my dinner. Okay. Carlos Omar, would you like to play basketball or go for a swim?
you are on mute. I would I would I would rather go for a, for a swim. Go for a swim, okay, perfect. Um, Nelly, do you want to read a book or watch a movie? I would rather um, watch a movie. Watch a movie, okay, perfect. Emerson, would you like to go shopping or stay home and relax? I would rather stay home and relax. Excellent. Carlos Vladimir, do you want to take the train or drive to the city? I go run, drive to the city. Thank you. Roberto Esaú, would you like to play basketball or go for a swimming? I would rather uh, go for a swimming. Okay. Maris, would you like to play basketball or go for a swim? I would rather, I would rather play basketball. Play basketball. Okay, thank you. Um, um Wendy. Yes. Wendy, would you like to play basketball or go for a swim? Uh I would like to play football. Um again, Wendy. Would you like to play basketball or go for a swim? I I will I would rather uh -huh. uh, I would like play football. Okay, I would rather play play basketball. I, I, I gave you two options, okay? I gave you two options. Would you like to play basketball or go for a swim? I would rather, I would play. rather play basketball. Okay, basketball, like that, okay? Yes. Pablo, do you want to read a book or watch a movie? I would rather watch a movie. Thank you. Abigail, would you like to go shopping or stay home and relax? I would rather stay home and relax. Okay. Uh, Jose, would you like to go shopping or stay home and relax? I would rather stay home and relax. Thank you. Uh, Jonathan, do you want to take the train or drive to the city? Drive to the city. Okay. Uh, Juan Jose, are you there? Yes. Thank you. Do you want to have Italian or Chinese food for dinner? I will rather have Chinese food for dinner. Excellent, thank you. All right, guys, very good. So you see, yeah? Now let's move to would prefer to. It also help us to express preferences, yeah? To make choices. But in this case, the structure is a little bit different. We use would prefer to and the verb. So we would prefer to take the scenic route. She would prefer to eat at home. I would prefer to read a book. Yeah. And for the negative, we have, we would prefer not to take the scenic route. She would prefer not to eat at home. I would prefer not to read a book. Yeah. And for the question, would we prefer to take the scenic route? Would she prefer to eat at home? And would I prefer to read a book? The same thing, guys. I need to create one positive sentence, one negative sentence, and one question, and send them to the chat, okay? The same thing, please. One positive, one negative, and one question, okay? I'll give you three minutes for you to finish. Mm -hmm. 
remember that is the same guys the only thing is that the structure changes right at the end they both help us to express preferences choices okay I would prefer to listen. Okay, I would prefer to listen to classic, classical music. Okay. I would prefer to listen to. I would prefer to go to the cinema. Jose, ah, okay, Jose prefers because it's third person, Emerson. But in this case, Jose would prefer, le falta el would, would prefer. Jose would prefer to play chess. Perfect, Maris. Very good. Excellent. We would prefer to play chess. In this case, Emerson, since you already added the would, it, the letter S is not necessary because they have a would. Entonces la S ya no es necesaria. Uh, she would prefer to go to Spain. You would prefer not to walk home. Would you prefer to go to the park? Very good. Yes, Paula. Let me see. I would prefer to read the book before to read the book before watch the movie. I would prefer to learn English than French. I would prefer not to watch a series. Would you prefer to study math or science? Or science. It is not it is not necessary, Roberto, that you add the subject because we are know that our subject and um okay. Yeah, the observation probably just on the on the positive um, sentence that in this case I would prefer to learn English than French. English with capital letter E and French with capital letter F. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We, we, we would prefer oh. not. 
Uh, okay, Carlos Oman, look at the structure. We would prefer not to. Yes, después se la puso porque se me había escapado. All right. Okay, let me let me check that. She will prefer to drink green tea. They wouldn't prefer to visit us in August in Agostino's holidays. Huh. Would he prefer to drive this time? Mm, the spelling Jose. She will prefer not to. Jonathan to look at the structure. Emerson, Maria will prefer not to go to. Maria will prefer not to go to work on Saturday. Yes, Emerson, but just copy the letter. Maria is proper now. Would I prefer to sleep? Very good, Maurice. Carlos Omar, we would prefer not to prefer. Carlos Vladimir, um, I would prefer to start tomorrow with this work. We would prefer not to talk about it. Would you prefer to pay with Cash or credit card? Yes, Carlos, Vladimir, just the question mark. Would you prefer, to, mm, Jonathan, look at the structure. Would you prefer to? Would Jose prefer to eat salad? Excellent, yes. I would prefer to ride a motorcycle. He would prefer not to drive by, uh, by car in the traffic. Would she prefer to travel by bus? Yes. Very good. They wouldn't prefer to to visit the grand to visit their grandparents on Christmas. I think. Would you prefer to drive fastly? Yes. Okay. And would we prefer? Mm, very good, Carlos. You corrected yourself. Would we prefer to the purposes? Mm, Carlos Omar, but the correct preposition is on Saturday. Okay. No, yes. Would you prefer to pay with cash or credit card? Okay. Thank you, Carlos Vladimir. Um, okay. Now, let me ask some of you. The same thing. Respond to the given situations using would prefer to. Yeah. The example, shall we go to the beach or the park? I would prefer to go to the park. Yeah, you answer with would prefer to. Roberto Esaú, do you want to go out for dinner or cook at home? Uh, I would prefer uh, go, go, go out for dinner. I would prefer go out for dinner or yes, I, uh, I would prefer to go out. I, I would prefer to go out for dinner. Very good. Yes. Um, Nelly, shall we take the bus or walk to the museum? <laughs> um, depend the distance. <laughs> okay. But, um, maybe, maybe I, I would prefer to walk to the to museum. Walk. All right, perfect. Uh, Carlos Omar, do you want to go shopping or stay home and relax? I would prefer to, to stay home and relax. Perfect. Abigail, shall we watch a comedy or a thriller movie? Mm, I. Mm -hmm. I prefer. Um, I, I would prefer. Have to watch a comedy movie. Excellent. And uh, let me see. Um, Maurice, do you want to visit the city or the countryside? Yeah, I would prefer to visit the city. I would prefer to visit the city. The city. Okay. All right. Yes. Thank you. All right, guys. So you see, then we have would prefer to and would rather. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's move. And right now, what we're going to do is that we are going to have the listening quiz. Okay. We are going to take the listening. 
uh, well, we have two quizzes today, but um, I'm going to, we are going to take the first one right now, okay? And then the second one. All right, um, give me one second. So if you are on the spreadsheet, it is listening 22. Yeah, listening 22. And for the ones that are not there, there you go. And the passcode, listening, listening. Let me know once you are in so I can play the recording. Ready. Okay, thank you. Ready. Okay. All right, give me one second, guys. Okay, here we go. I'm going to play it um, two times because this one is very easy, you'll see, okay? So two times. Okay, here we go. Hey, are you leaving now? Yeah. yeah. Could you give me a ride at the train station? Sure, get in. Oh, I'm glad I caught you. My train leaves in about 20 minutes and I don't have time to walk there. Yeah, well, no problem. Oh, I just got a text from my mom about her doctor's appointment. Wait! You're not going to text and drive, are you? Yeah, I'm pretty good at it. Watch. Now, look here. No, look no. Hey, hey, hey. To be honest, I feel uncomfortable with you trying to do both at the same time. And it's against the law. I had a lot of practice. No, really, really. I'll just walk. Pull over. I can catch the next train. No, no, no. I'm almost finished with this text. Just a second. Watch out! Oh, oh no, my car! Oh, no. Oh, no, forget your car! The driver of the other car looks like a pro wrestler, and boy, does he look angry. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no, he just punched that light pole and smashed his car window with his fist. Oh, hey, uh, switch me seats? No, forget it. I think it would be a good time for you to text or call the police. <gasps> okay. This is the second time. Hey, are you leaving now? Yeah. yeah. Could you give me a ride at the train station? Sure, get in. Oh, I'm glad I caught you. My train leaves in about 20 minutes and I don't have time to walk there. Yeah, well, no problem. Oh, I just got a text from my mom about her doctor's appointment. Wait! You're not going to text and drive, are you? Yeah, I'm pretty good at it. Watch. Now, look here. Look no, no. Out. Hey, hey, hey. To be honest, I feel uncomfortable with you trying to do both at the same time. And it's against the law. I had a lot of practice. No, really, really. I'll just walk. Pull over. I can catch the next train. No, no, no. I'm almost finished with this text. Just a second. Watch out! Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, no, my car. Oh, no. Oh, no, forget your car. The driver of the other car looks like a pro wrestler, and boy, does he look angry. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no, he just punched that light pole and smashed his car window with his fist. Oh, hey, uh, switch me seats? No, forget it. I think it would be a good time for you to text or call the police. <sighs> Okay, you ready? Or do you need me to play it one more time? Hey, one more try. One more time? Okay, here we go, guys. Hey, are you leaving now? Yeah. yeah. Could you give me a ride at the train station? Sure, get in. Oh, I'm glad I caught you. My train leaves in about 20 minutes and I don't have time to walk there. Yeah, well, no problem. Oh, I just got a text from my mom about her doctor's appointment. Wait! You're not going to text and drive, are you? 
Yeah, I'm pretty good at it. Watch. Now, look here. No, no. Hey, hey, hey. To be honest, I feel uncomfortable with you trying to do both at the same time. And it's against the law. I've had a lot of practice. No, really, really. I'll just walk. Pull over. I can catch the next train. No, no, no. I'm almost finished with this text. Just a second. Watch out! Uh, oh. Oh, no, my car. Oh, no. Oh, no, forget your car. The driver of the other car looks like a pro wrestler, and boy, does he look angry. Oh, no. Oh, no, he just punched that light pole and smashed his car window with his fist. Oh, hey, uh, switch me seats? No, forget it. I think it would be a good time for you to text or call the police. (gasps) Okay. So let me see your scores. okay perfect all right guys so now then let's start with the speaking time we are going to practice for some minutes okay we have a couple of questions right there i want you to please open the class yeah open the the pdf let me just allow you to share the screen Okay, so we're going to um, move to the speaking time. Yeah, we have, a lot of, uh, we have a couple of questions right there in order for you to support your opinion, okay? I want you to support your opinion. Whenever your classmate asks you a question, I need you to please support your opinion with examples, yeah, with real situations. Yeah, we have some questions about customer service. Yeah, is the, customers, is the customer always right? yes or no right why yeah then you are going to move to those right we are going to talk about gifts yeah about weddings yeah then you are going to move to here and we are going to talk about different things right uh parachuting yeah etc so then we are going to move to those right uh, where you are going to be able to use different tenses Okay, so let's start right now. We are going to practice for around 10 to 15 minutes and then we are going to come back. Okay, and we are going to continue with the other activity that we have. Yeah, so here we go. Okay, guys, so we're going to practice, okay? We're going to practice. Let me see. Okay, are you here? Are you Hello. Here? Yes, you're here. Hello, Hello. Wendy. Yes. Hello. Um, okay, I'm going to change Carlos Omar. I'm going to send you to another breakout room, okay? Okay. And Wendy, I'm going to move you with Tony. Yes. Está. Can you see? Uh, Okay, okay. Okay. Customer service is important for successful companies. Can you think of any companies with good or, or bad customer service? What is good or bad about their service? Yeah, for me... 
the bad service is in the bank because uh, there is a long way. Mm -hmm. Very good. And you? Is it right? For me, maybe in some. Uh, um, teacher, how do you say? Oh, how are the names of the places that sells electrodomestics? Um, uh, like um, TVs, washer machines, living rooms. <laughs> I don't know even in Spanish. Let me see. Um, in Spanish, is, are comerciales? Comerciales? Sí, uh, ejemplo, mm, Omnisport, Curacao. Yes. Huh. Okay, how how do we call places where they sell furniture, right? Yes, furniture. Mm -hmm. And Mm. Let me look for it, okay? Give me one second, but continue, okay? Okay. Uh, uh, in the stores, in some stores, because um, the sellers don't uh, leave the places that they were assigned. Mm -hmm. Do repeat, please, Bernardo. Okay. Uh, for me, some stores where the sellers don't. Uh, leave the places that they were assigned. Mm. Um, como mm. no dejan los puestos a los que fueron asignados. For example, if I want to buy a TV, but the sellers that sells TV are all um, busy, uh the sellers for example that sell cell phones can't uh can help um, you can't help me because that isn't his area mm -hmm. I, I say that because it happened to me <laughs> the last Sunday <laughs> So I, 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 I had to wait for the person in charge of the area that I was needing help. Okay. Yes, I got it then. It is yeah. kind of difficult, right? Because at the end you are going to spend your money, but as you said before, it, since it is not their area, so they won't help you. Mm -hmm. For me, you that, that is a bad, a bad. Um, service yes then you are right okay yeah. uh, you can say furniture and appliances stores okay yeah furniture, furniture and appliances stores yes i agree on that one i think that that is going to be kind of uh you know difficult sometimes but as well as maori said banks right yes the same as well yeah <sighs> And what is good or bad about their service? Well, you already mentioned, right? Oh, well, Mari said the long waiting time, right? Mm -hmm. But, you know, in, in the case of, well, in both cases, and Pablo, what do you think about that? Which stores do you think have bad customer service? Do you think that restaurants or banks or I don't know. Mm. 
Mm, I think that he's not there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, um, what I was about to tell you guys is that both places, they do have the online shopping available, I think. I mean, Jose, furniture and appliances, they do have online shopping, I think, available or no? Um, yeah. Uh, in my case, uh, I wasn't uh, shopping. I needed help for mm -hmm. for uh, maintenance. <laughs> so I I I I had to the place uh, personally for ask the maintenance. To so ask. I, I, I when I arrived to to there, I I had to wait uh, a half an hour. Oh my god, that was a lot. Yeah, the 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 guy was in his lunch time, so I had to wait. <laughs> okay, Jose. Okay, so they were taking their lunch. Okay. Well, okay, got it. Then yeah, you couldn't like, mm -hmm. yeah, you couldn't buy something. But Maris, in the case of banks, there are many things that we can do online. Yeah. Hey. Uh, yes, it's, it's any option, mm -hmm. but uh, se dice? desconfío mucho lo que es el trabajo en línea. I, I do not trust online yeah, yeah. service. Yeah, online. You don't trust online service? Well, well, yeah, sometimes it's, it's dangerous. Okay, continue. Is the customer always okay. right? Um, No, I think no. Uh, it depends because uh, some customers um, are very difficult to treat because mm -hmm. um, they are uh, sometimes aggressive. They don't hear what the, cost the seller are um offering or they just want to um uh, how to say no they they just want to claim about the product they mm -hmm. they doesn't they they aren't interested in solutions mm -hmm. uh, for me i think so but the consumer service is difficult to uh -huh. decompose. It is difficult? It's difficult. It's difficult to convince. To convince. It's difficult oh. to convince. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, um... Yes, okay, the customer is not always right, but but we we need to accept that in our country the customer service that we have is really bad. It is poor, really poor customer service in yeah, that... most of places, uh huh? But uh Maybe 50-50? So, so here in our country, <laughs> I think that the customer is always right. <laughs> well, most of the time, yes. Most of the time, right? But I would say 80 and 20, okay? Just because it's our country. You know, in the U.S., um, it is very... Uh, I don't know if you have had the opportunity to actually buy online to... I mean, or to have this experience with the customer service in the US, but it is really different. I mean, 100% different than here in El Salvador, right? They do care about the customer service, but here in our country, they don't care in the US or in any other country, actually, they do care about the customer service, right? Uh -huh. mm. You know, I remember once that I went to a, well, I'm not going to say the name of the store, right? But I went to, I went to a place, I went to a place here where they sell furniture and appliances. Yeah. And I bought an iron. 
yeah but uh -huh. you know what the iron was in 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 its box right but the box was damaged and they said uh -huh. and they said to me uh it costs 20 dollars because of the box right because the box is damaged and i asked and which is the normal price 22 dollars and i said okay <laughs> Just because of the box, right? $20. And I said, okay, so that is not fair. But the thing is that I remember that I had an, uh, like a, a friend that uh, she travels to the U.S. so often. The thing is that in the U.S., whenever they have this type of uh, products that are damaged, even though they use the, the box, right? If the box is damaged. So in this case, they give you that for free. I mean, they do not charge you. Because the customers complain and they say, hey, you know what? You are selling me something that is damaged, right? So in here in, in our country, we don't have any type of discount for those type of things that are damaged. They sell it at the normal price, right? Without any type of discount. Yeah, here if you're lucky, uh, they give you a, a, a product with the package damaged uh, in a gift for a for a <laughs> uh other you are buying another product they give you uh, the damaged product <laughs> but you you always pay the amount yes right yeah they yes. don't give you any type of discount here yeah. in our country yeah no discount at all right so i think that yes that's why i think that in our country the service is really poor mm -hmm. yeah. you're right teacher yes yeah. <laughs> okay all right what value gives Gifts are usually given as wedding present in our society, expensive or inexpensive. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. uh, for me, in any case, only give me money in and sobre and the love gift oh my yeah. god Maris that is good okay so you got yeah. a lot of money Maris uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay Maris mm, you know that is very common right that people ask for money I mean regalo de sobre right and the love yeah, gift exactly. uh, yes uh -huh. They say envelope gifts, right? So, um, do you think that is a good idea or no, guys? Um, I I think, I uh, uh, yeah, it could be because, uh, there are people that <laughs> doesn't give you anything. For example, <laughs> I I think you are expecting something. Yes. Um. Okay. A friend of mine. The thing mm -hmm. is that she, she got married, right? She got married and they asked for it, for this type of gift, envelope gift, right? Regalo de sobre. They, they asked for that. But the thing is that at the end of the wedding, in they, my case, they, 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 uh -huh. yes. In my case, uh, I think it's uh, uh, fashionable. In fact, my wedding, she says it. Okay, yeah, uh huh. So, uh, the, yes, that is very common. So, uh, yes. uh huh. For me, teacher, uh, yes. envelope gift uh, is good mm -hmm. for not receiving repeat gift. <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, it is a good point, I think. <laughs> yes, that is right. Yes, I think that that is a good point. Uh, imagine, um, teacher, that you receive um four um I don't know how to say uh um, I don't know even how it's named in Spanish. Uh, Cuando dan batería, creo que le dicen. What? Like plates, 
forks, uh, ah, okay, like pins. But I mean, those are <laughs> household utensils. But what are you going to do with 16 pens? <laughs> but if you, if you break some... <laughs> Uh, in that case, I think uh, it's better the the envelope of the gift. Mm -hmm. You just buy uh, what you need. Just one. You are right. You're right. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, um, well, I, I think that both, well, at least for me, both are okay. Like, <coughs> it's your decision, but yes, I mean, both are okay. Uh -huh. But I, I get the point. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, so you agree on the idea of giving money as a wedding present? I think it's comfortable yeah. for the uh, how do you say los que reciben y de los que dan? For the givers and receivers. Okay. It's more comfortable for the givers and the receivers. Okay. Okay. Because the, the, the givers don't have to think what to give as a gift. Mm -hmm. Just open the <laughs> the sobre. The envelope? The envelope, put the money in, close it. That's and that's it. it. And if you are still owe, right? Because sometimes you make the big party and you owe that money. So you are going to <laughs> pay with that money. Yes, that happens. <laughs> that happens. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. I All think right. I think it's a good idea. 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 Mm -hmm. Idea. And make is uh, easier to think what to give away. In a wedding? Okay. Well. Yes, could be, right? All right. Yes. And guys, have you attended more church weddings or civil weddings? Which is more popular in our country, guys? I just... I just have been in three weddings. Imagine. Two, two um, church wedding and one civil wedding. Mm -hmm. And I... Uh, it, it, it is all my experience in weddings. Imagine, yes. So not all people want to get married, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you, Maris? Uh, for me, I, I don't like in the marriage because it's boring. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Maurice. All right. <laughs> you are so honest, Maurice. But in yeah. this case, have you attended? Well, so boring. Well, no, you don't like it. You haven't, probably. In you, Atelier, have you attended more church weddings or civil weddings? Um, in my case, uh, I have attended church. Church weddings. Yeah, uh, weddings of course. Uh, <clears throat> June, Friday, uh, etc. I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, but in our country, which one is the most popular? I'm sure. Church weddings, right? Uh, yes. Okay. All right, guys, continue with the other one. Would you ever make a but a shooter jump, why, why not? I never jumped in a parachute. And would you ever make it? If you had the opportunity to do it, would you do it? Sometimes I think I, I, I do. Okay. <clears throat> um. I don't know. I I sometimes like to feel the adrenaline mm -hmm. going through my veins, and my I have veins. the my veins, 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 uh -huh. veins. and uh, I don't know. I maybe 
a few years ago, I would did it without thinking because mm -hmm. uh, I liked to jump from highs. Yes. So I, I think I I, uh -huh. I I will jump. Yeah. Okay. All right. And the other ones, Atilio, Maurice, Pablo? Uh, in my case, no. No. Because uh, I want to continue giving. <laughs> okay, Maurice. And you, Atilio? Uh, I do down jump because this scares me. <laughs> oh, it scares you, okay. Yeah. And how would you feel about spending a night in a house which was said to be haunted? Guys, have you heard about this famous house here in El Salvador, which is, um, Sorry. how do we call this this house here in El Salvador? I think that it, the name is, Here in Santa Ana is one I uh, near uh, of the center. And, and what is the name? Really? Uh, really? I, I don't I remember, say, but... Yeah. I, no. In Santa Ana? You live in yes. Santa Ana? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I don't know. Um, it... Its name is the last name of uh rich people, but I I don't I don't remember the 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 last name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here in San Salvador, there I don't know if there is or there was one, right? Which is also the last name of a rich family. Yeah, and and it is well, it was right. It was like very very common some years ago to go there uh -huh. here the last the last year um was famous again because in the desfiles uh, some someone record a, a ghost watching the desfile it, in a window it really yeah really that is Interesting, okay. And did you actually watch the, the video? Yeah, I watched it. Um it was okay. like a, yeah. a, a, a a white shadow crossing mm -hmm. the window while okay. they were walking down on the street. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. For me, teacher, um it's no problem for me because I don't believe in each other. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. I lived in a house that's supposed to be haunted. So, uh, have you? Small, uh -huh. Yeah, the, the first one was difficult. Really? The, yeah, my furniture. I, I heard my furniture to. Um, hit to <sighs> a wall to another wall to another wall, and when I went down because the the house had uh, two floor, floors, when I I I went down to the first floor, okay. the furniture was in its place. So, uh, it was difficult to. To sleep the but just the first month after that there were no problem there was no problem there was no problem oh my god really yes mm -hmm. okay and right now you don't have any problem at all i am comfortable yeah I, I don't care <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, how do you say um uh, yeah me acostumbre I, i'm i'm used to Ah, uh, okay. I'm used to to watch or hear mm -hmm. strange things. Okay. And doesn't matter if it's the on daily or at night. Or uh, during the day or at night. Yes. 
Okay, all right. Yeah, okay, Jose. But it, it is, well, at the beginning, it might be very difficult, I think, right? Uh, more or less, because more, right? since I had memories, I watched some strange things. Okay. All right. Okay, continue with the other ones, okay? Let me see the other ones. Yes, thank you. Having a conversation about the music. And at that moment, the TV turned on by itself. But this TV, this is a, an old TV, like that TV that has, um, I'm sorry, because I don't know how do you say perillas, the, the old TVs. Okay. You don't have the remote, the control remote, but the but the, the TV turned on by itself and it was very scary because I was oh my, my God. goodness, what is happening here? Yeah. Better. Yeah, and and I I only said to him we have to go out because I don't like it to feel the to feel it, this. It was very scary. And, have the, the 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 door open to another relationship and this is the reason that the people don't like to get married by the church only by the civil because in the civil uh, wedding you can change your opinion you can divorce divorce yes. divorcing divorce divorce you can separate, divorce you can separate of your uh, of your um Partner, couple, or how the couple, and you can reload or you, or you can re recreate the mm -hmm. life with other people, and this is the reason that the wedding church you don't have this change. Do you have do you have this option to change your life? And I because I the way that I think that is not common uh, right now in this time the church wedding. Only the civil wins. Yes, I agree with this. Some some people that don't want to get married that by church. <laughs> when the when the people uh, make uh, get married, sometimes do it for how do you say? Separar bienes. Separate goods. Separate goods. In the case of the religion that you together, all things are. Mm -hmm. is, is a is a good is a good subject subject to to discuss because. Eh, la carreta chillona. Eh, okay. They they told they told the story at night every day. Yes. In my case, um, I don't have a favorite horror story, but um, yes, I like um, I like horror story. And I like to watch uh, horror story movies, um, especially if they are uh, based on real, real stories. Okay. Yes, yes. I like that that a person uh, tell me a good or horror history story, but because it's a little scary. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. The next one is can you describe a memorable travel experience you have? Um yes, the last December I went to in New York. Um I spent time with my, my family and um especially with my dad. Okay. And Where? Sorry? In New York. Okay. 
Yes. Um, I traveled uh, to New York many times before, but uh, uh, this time or that time was the first time that I went uh, to a uh, Brooklyn Bridge. And it's so beautiful. <laughs> Okay. And okay. Um, yeah, the water is uh, cold and delicious. <laughs> I don't know if it's correct. Yes. Very delicious. different from here, right? Yes. Of course. <laughs> and um, there are many handsome uh, guys. <laughs> and beautiful ladies too and um the culture is very different and um, the uh, customs and i i yes it's beautiful it's a beautiful place oh, okay and the buildings are big uh, yes that, that's nice it, it's just, it's a beautiful city yeah Infinite. In yes. the in New York, this the sky the skyscraper. I think it is. Los rascacielos, the chart, the skyscrapers. Yes, sky that is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that's nice. I never visited a uh, 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 USA, but, but I I hope so. <laughs> in my case, the uh, a member of travel. I traveled, but, but for example, in Guatemala, uh, Honduras, uh, country, yes. And when when I traveled to Guatemala, to uh, Atlitan Lake, yes, it's very, very, very beautiful, yes. In Guatemala, it, it's called Panajachel. It's beautiful, beautiful. I, I was... Uh, I was there about three days, and it's so beautiful. Uh, uh, levantarse, wake up, wake up with the with the sunshine. Some, yes. In my case, uh, I I was traveled to Guatemala in Iceland of Roatán. Uh, I traveled in the in the in El Salvador, around the, the Salvador, but my memorial travel was Roatan because it's it's a so beautiful, it, it's a it's a paradise. The people the people is very kind, very very comfortable, and it's beautiful. Comfortable, okay, comfortable. <laughs> comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah, okay, comfortable. Okay. All right. Okay, continue, guys. Um, in my case, um, I think the more the memorial. Video. Atilio is not here, I think. Yeah, it is. Ah, okay. Yeah. In my case, um, uh, in my case, playing ice soccer and weekend. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, only, yeah. How do you say olvidar? I for um, olvide o olvidar forget olvidar olvidar forget forget uh, yes yeah, yes forget um, <clears throat> um um al cargas um a, a lot, descargas, va, a lot. Mm -hmm. Olvida todas las cargas. Mm, you can say, I forget about difficult situations. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Only. Okay. Yeah, you finished, guys. Well, let's go to the main room, okay? Let's move. Okay. Okay, let's wait for the other ones to join. Okay, so let's see guys, I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance, but I think that we are missing some. Yes, we are missing four of you. Well, six. Okay. Um, all right, guys, so I'm going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance. Uh, Aleida Esmeralda Amaya. Hey, teacher. Thank you. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. I hear teacher. Thank you. Carlos Omar Linares Cañas. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, miss. Thank you. Jonathan Jose González Domínguez. Present. Thank you. George Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. George. No. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Juan Antonio Elías Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Carla Sofía. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Zelaya. Present Kenia. teacher. Thank you, Kenya. Luis Miguel Corbera Enriquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Marian Scarlett Rodriguez Luna. Marian Scarlett. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Thank you. Nelly Lilibet Andrade García. Present. Thank you. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Pablo Adalberto. Pablo. Raúl Antonio Jordán Miranda. Present. Thank you. Roberto Esaú Celaya. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Eh, Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Sandra Abigail. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present, Miss. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present, teacher. Thank you. And Wilbur Jonathan Bautista Aguilar. Okay. So now let's take the last listening quiz, okay? Which is listening 23. If you are in the spreadsheet, let's take it. For the ones that are not, there you go. Let me know once you are in so I can play the recording, okay? Let me share my screen. Okay, guys, let me know so I can play. What is? The passcode? Passcode, see? Yes, uh, listening. Listen. Yes, listening. Okay, ready? No. No? Okay.
Ready? Ready. Okay, here we go, guys. Okay, let me play it. Ron, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. I'm just looking up some information on the internet. Like what? Let me see. No, no, it's okay. I mean, you know... Baldness? <laughs> what are you looking that up for? Well, you know... I, I mean, you're not that bad off. Ah, uh, there you go. Bringing it up again. No, I mean it. You look great. Honestly, it's not that bad. Hey, I get enough of it from friends and, and the people at work and now from you. Well, maybe you could wear a toupee. I think you'd look great. Oh, no. And have it slip off my head onto my date's dinner plate as they lean over to kiss her? Uh-uh. Well, have you ever thought about seeking medical advice? There are new advances in medicines that not only retard hair loss, but help regenerate new growth. Uh, I still don't give much credibility to medical treatment to prevent permanent hair loss. Well, what about accepting the fact that you're just losing your hair? Oh, uh, I just can't give up hope. I know appearances shouldn't matter, but I don't know. I just feel that women just avoid me. Come on. You can't be serious. Oh, really? I've seen it many times. It just, uh, I don't know. Okay. Here we go again. Ron, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. I'm just looking up some information on the internet. Like what? Let me see. No, no, it's okay. I mean, you know... Baldness? <laughs> what are you looking that up for? Well, you know... Uh... I, I mean, you're not that bad off. Ah, uh, there you go. Bringing it up again. No, I mean it. You look great. Honestly, it's not that bad. Hey, I get enough of it from friends and, and the people at work and now from you. Well, maybe you could wear a toupee. I think you'd look great. Oh, no. And have it slip off my head onto my date's dinner plate as they lean over to kiss her? Uh-uh. Well, have you ever thought about seeking medical advice? There uh, are new advances in medicines that not only uh, retard hair loss, but help regenerate new growth. Uh, I still don't give much credibility to medical treatment to prevent permanent hair loss. Well, what about accepting the fact that you're just losing your hair? Oh, I just can't give up hope. I know appearances shouldn't matter, but I don't know. I just feel that women just avoid me. Come on. You can't be serious. Oh, really? I've seen it many times. It just, uh, I don't know. Okay. The last time. Ron, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. I'm just looking up some information on the internet. Like what? Let me see. No, no, it's okay. I mean, you know... Baldness? <laughs> what are you looking that up for? Well, you know... Uh... I, I mean, you're not that bad off. Ah, uh, there you go. Bringing it up again. No, I mean it. You look great. Honestly, it's not that bad. Hey, I get enough of it from friends and, and the people at work and now from you. Well, maybe you could wear a toupee. I think you'd look great. Oh, no. And have it slip off my head onto my date's dinner plate as they lean over to kiss her? Uh-uh. Well, have you ever thought about seeking medical advice? There uh, are new advances in medicines that not only uh, retard hair loss, but help regenerate new growth. Uh, I still don't give much credibility to medical treatment to prevent permanent hair loss. Well, what about accepting the fact that you're just losing your hair? Uh, I just can't give up hope. I know appearances shouldn't matter, but I don't know. I just feel that women just avoid me. Come on. You can't be serious. Oh, really? I've seen it many times. It just... Uh, I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Let me see your answers, okay? Was it difficult or easy? Well. I think, I think that was difficult. That, is difficult. Yes. that was difficult. Yes, and actually it was difficult, okay? Difficult. Mm. Okay. Yes, this was difficult. Yes. Difficult. Uh, Atilio, okay. Okay, guys, let's take the present perfect quiz review. Okay, let's take this one. And let's see if you remember about the first topic that we covered. Okay, present perfect. Okay.
Okay, so we will have around five minutes, okay? Well, yeah, for you to finish it. My teacher, I have in the the grammar test, but yes. it, what do we need to read? No, I mean, you need to say the grammar quiz. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. Uh -huh. This is just for the timer. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I understand. Yeah, I'm yeah. getting it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you, Alida. Okay, thank you, Roberto. Let me let me see the scores.
Okay. Thank you, guys. I'm just missing some of you. Okay, so let's see, let's continue, all right? Okay, guys, uh, let's move to reading. Before we go, we are going to read a short um, reading, okay? Let me, let me share with you my screen. Okay, so we are going to read about the effects of a stress, yeah? So let's see, um, Emerson, can you please help us reading the first paragraph? There is a famous expression in English, stop word and wanna get off. This expression refers to a feeling of panic or stress that makes a person want to stop whatever they are doing, try to relax and become calm again. Stress means preserve all tension. It is one of the most common causes of the health problem in the modern life. Mm -hmm. Too much stress results in physical, emotional, and mental health problem. Yes. Okay, continue, Emerson. There are numerous, numerous physical effects of the stress. The stress can affect the heart and can increase the pulse rate, make the heart miss very bits, mm -hmm. and can cause high blood pressure. pressure. The stress can affect the respiration system. It mm -hmm. can lead to asthma. Mm -hmm. It can cause a person to breathe Breathe. too fast, mm -hmm. resulting in a loss of important Carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide. 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 The stress can affect the stomach. It scales in can it can cause stomach ache mm -hmm. and problem with the digestion food. Okay. There are only a few examples of the wide range of the illness and symptoms resulting from stress. Okay, continue. Emotions are always also easily affected by stress. People suffering from stress often feel anxious. There many have panic attacks. They may feel tired all the time. When people are under stress, they're often overwrapped to little problems. For example, a uh, normal gliding parent under a lot of stress at the world may get yelled a uh, shot for dropping a glass of juice. The stress can make people hungry, moody, and or nervous. Continue. Long-term stress can let to the variety of the serious mental illness, depression on the, or extreme feelings of the sadness and hopelessness mm -hmm. can be the result of the continued and increased stress, alcoholism and other addiction often develop as, as a result of the overuse of the alcoholism or drugs to try to relieve the stress. Eating the eating the dissolver resolvers shows us a not sorry. Anorexia. Anorexia are sometimes caused by the stress and are often made worse by the stress. If the stress is allowed to continue, then one's mental health 
is put at risk. Okay. The last paragraph. It is obvious that stress is a serious problem. It attacks the body, is affected emotion, uh, untreated, is made ever, eventually result in a mental illness. The stress has a great influence on the health and well being of the, our body, bodies, our fields and our minds. So reduce stress, stop the world and rest for a while. Thank you, Emerson. Observation, stomach. Stomach. Stomachache. Stomachache. Stomachaches. Cakes. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, guys. Uh, so the effects of a stress. Okay, and this is very important. This uh, it says that a stress can make people angry, moody, or nervous. Yeah, and it says that long-term stress can lead to a variety of serious mental illnesses. Uh -huh. Tony. What does it mean moody? Moody, um, in, in, in Spanish, es como bipolar. Eh, I mean, que cambia de, de modo, que está contento, you are happy, then angry, then you are stressed, then you are worried. Bien cambiante de humor. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Yes, all right. Moody. Yeah, people sometimes when they are like that is because of the stress, right? Yeah. And then um, we also have that it is obvious that a stress is a serious problem. Mm -hmm. It attacks the body and it affects your emotions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then it says at the end, so reduce the stress, and stop the world and rest for a while. Right? We need to take care of ourselves. Tomorrow, we are going to continue with different questions about this reading, guys. Just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. Just let me see if um, Abigail, are you here? I think that Abigail is not here. No, yeah, she's not here. Okay, guys. So if you don't have any question, um, I'll see you back tomorrow. And thank you very much for connecting today and being responsible. All right. Thank you and have a good night. Take care. Bye-bye. Right. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.